If you are not from IITs or NITs and if you want to get into VLSA sector, you might have come across companies like Maven Silicon, Chip Edge, where you pay some 70 to 80 thousand for a course, you will finish the course, you will attend interviews and then you can get a job. But today I have brought to you one company where you don't have to pay anything, literally zero. If you clear their written exam and if you could clear their interviews, you can get into VLSA sector with a pretty decent pay. Yes, the company that I am talking about is Veda IIT. This is not a paid promotion video, this is my honest opinion. When I was going through the notification, I realized I also got this job offer when I was in final year of engineering. But I did not join this, I choose Infosys. That's a story for some other day. As a matter of fact, many employees in Qualcomm, Texas Instruments, Intel have started their careers in Veda IIT. But to get into this job, you have to clear three stage process. The first stage is preliminary exam and the second stage is mains and the third stage is interview. I'll discuss in detail about each stage, how you can prepare for this exam and how you can ace this opportunity. But before that, let's discuss who can write this exam. If you have already prepared for gate and you have messed up your gate exam, then you should definitely try this exam. My gate rank was some 3000 change in my final year of engineering. So I could not get a good seat in IIT or NIT. So that's the reason I have written this and I was able to clear prelims, mains and interview also. My gate preparation has helped me really well in this particular exam. Last year also I have shared this opportunity in our telegram channel and two of our telegram subscribers have cleared this exam and joined their job in Veda IIT. How cool is that? I have shared something which people don't know and they have tried this and they have cleared this. So if you have not joined our telegram channel so far then you have missed out a lot of things. So make sure you join our telegram channel where I share all the exam related updates on job notifications. Here they have clearly mentioned that the written exam comprises of 1 marks, 2 marks, 3 marks and 4 marks questions in the following pattern fill in the blanks, short answer and problems. In the preliminary test, the syllabus comprises of basic electronics, digital design and number systems, which would have 20 marks and aptitude is for 10 marks. And the time duration is one hour. The main syllabus would be digital circuits for 30 marks, microprocessors for 10 marks, C programming for 30 marks and aptitude for 30 marks. And the time duration is three hours. Similarly for embedded system design, the syllabus is same, digital design, microprocessors, C programming and aptitude, but the weightage of the syllabus is different. Here if you see 20 marks, 20 marks for digital circuits and microprocessors and C programming for 30 marks and aptitude for 30 marks. So if you observe closely here, most of the weightage is from digital circuits and aptitude. If you are really good in these two sections, you can manage other two sections somehow. There might be sectional cutoffs also, which I'm really not sure. This is the feedback that I have got from our um, subscribers who joined last year. So in the written stage, there were questions from Boolean expressions, realization using multiplexers. Multiplexers are very important yet very easy to cover. Apart from that, there were questions from counters, half subtractors and state machines. Even though the number of questions from state machines were pretty less, but the weightage is very high. Most of the questions were 4 marks, especially in state machines. So cover state machines properly. How to design a melee circuit, more circuit, how to convert from melee to more and more to melee. When it comes to aptitude, questions were from easy to moderate level. Coming to number systems, all the questions were from two's complement method. So two's complement method is again very important in gate. So if you are already prepared for gate, there is nothing that you need to prepare new for this exam. So coming to programming, in prelim section, most of the questions were from basics of C. So just watch any YouTube playlist, uh, maybe three, four hours, you can just watch it. So just try to cover basics of C programming. And when it comes to mains, you have to write a program. You don't have to compile a program. All that you have to do is write the logic. Even if there is syntax error, or even if you don't know um, how to write a proper C code, that's completely fine. So the question that they have asked last year is write a program to find second highest number in an array of elements without using sorting techniques. Revise everything that I have discussed so far. When I gave back in my final year of engineering, prelims, I was able to clear it uh, without any difficulty because I have already prepared for gate. In mains exam, almost all the questions were descriptive. So you have to write the solution instead of just marking ABCD. So in mains also, I fairly did well. I was able to solve most of the questions and I left some questions without answering. Coming to interview, my interview went for around two and a half hours. That was the longest interview I've ever given. In interview, they will not ask you anything new. Whatever questions you were not able to solve in mains exam, they would try to help you. They will give you hints. All you have to do is arrive at a proper approach. Even if you are not able to arrive at the solution, they will observe how your approach is going. Let's discuss about salary. The salary here depends on your performance in the training exams. If you score between 50 to 55 percent, the salary would be around 6 lakhs. If you score more than 85 percent in training, salary would be 8 lakhs per annum. Initial salaries of 6 to 8 lakhs per annum is pretty decent when it comes to VLSI. Because if you work here for 2-3 years and if you switch to Qualcomm or Texas Instruments, 
you could easily get paid around 35 to 40 lakhs which is a lot of money especially when you are coming from normal colleges and if you are not from iits or nits this is a golden opportunity if you want to get into vlsa sector now for those who have not prepared for gate ever and if you have not studied digital circuits properly in your college curriculum then you might not be able to clear this exam but i would suggest you to apply for this exam whether you are clearing or not that's different you could at least get some experience right so even if you are not able to clear this do not worry prepare for gate 2024 this job opportunity will come every year and if you are convinced to prepare for gate 2024 i would recommend you to join a long term coaching because it is already june you won't be able to do it self study so join a long term batch and i would recommend you to join ace academy because they have some of the best faculties in the country for gate and esc i was also a student of ace academy when i was preparing for gate and esc new batches both online and offline are starting on june 8th and june 21st you can use the code matic10 to get 10% off on all the courses classroom course online course every course you can get 10% off i'll add more details in description you can check it out once if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel even if you don't do any of these i thank you for watching this video till now take care and i'll see you all in the next video